Save the drama for your mama. What happens is it affects our minds. What happens is it affects our peace of mind. Fear grows, anxiety builds, and next thing you know, we're making poor decisions. So here's a couple of thoughts for you today. The first major point I have came from my Serbian contractor, Momo Churchik. And Momo Churchik is the great example of It's a Good Life. I met Mo in 1999. Um, he barely could speak English at the time, and he was a handyman. And I helped Mo get his general contractor's license. I hit it off with him because I'm a tradesman at heart. And this guy was an immigrant and a tradesman who wanted to make his way in the world. And I've been Mo's biggest fan ever since. He's probably done over 40 construction jobs with me. I've invested with him. And today he's a multi-millionaire, apartment-owning, fantastic businessman who spends half his year in Serbia and half his year in San Diego, and life is good. And we get together and we have coffee and we just talk. He's Mo's a guy. We always have business stuff going on, but we'll get together just to have a coffee. Now, I drink tea but he, most of the time, but he drink, he's a coffee drinker. And Mo said to me the other day, he goes, Brian, Brian, I have to tell you, the whole freaking world is reality TV now. The whole world. It used to be it was on the channel, but now the whole world is reality TV. I go to Home Depot, it's reality TV. Everything is reality TV. And I started thinking about it through that lens. And I thought, you know, that's kind of the way cultures work. You know, something starts out as fiction and then it starts to morph into fact. You know, do you guys know when reality TV started? It was when Friends, the, the, the cast of Friends went on strike. And this was, I know the year because it was 1994, and I'll tell you why in a second. And I'll tell you the day that reality TV began, because it was the day my daughter was born. And you go, nah, that sounds self-important. Brian, you're saying reality TV started because your daughter was born? Nope. It was because Friends went on strike, and they were striking at the time for a million dollars per actor per episode. And basically, it put NBC in a spot where, oh my gosh, we have this huge, at the time, huge money, huge commitment for a season of this number one show. They have us over a barrel. We need all these actors. The show's nothing without them. And what happened is they really pressed their power and maxed out the compensation at that time. Well, June 17th, 1994, Beverly and I, I'm... Uh, Beverly's wheeling back into the recovery room her after giving birth to our daughter, Anna. I'm uh, wheeling Anna in her little bassinet. And we get in. And Bev goes, well, let's turn on the TV. And Beverly's not much of a TV watcher, but, you know, she just gave birth. So we turn on the TV. And the reason why that moment is stuck in our mind is they go, ladies and gentlemen, right as we turn on the TV, we break into today's programming. There is a white Ford Bronco on the 405 freeway. And most people can tell you where and when they were when, when O.J. Simpson went on the run in, um, in 1984. No, most of them don't know the date and the time. I do. I do, because my daughter was born, and we just went back into the, into, uh, the uh, suite. That was the day reality TV, because what happened was the, the ratings for the O.J. Simpson and the trial went through the roof. And what the TVs figured out, the TV... Companies figured out, because they're for-profit businesses, just like the social media is for-profit businesses, just like the news networks that you all watch, that I watch, are for-profit businesses. CNN right now is going through hell on wheels. They're trying to figure out what way they're going to present the news because their ratings are in a catastrophic fall, which means their revenue is catastrophic fall. And how they're going to present the news is going to be dictated in order to raise their ratings to sell more ads. Not what's the truth of a story. Those days are gone. And it's okay. That's a business. They have the right to make a profit. I'm a capitalist. Reality TV began with O.J. Simpson. And they saw massive ratings without having to pay anybody. And all of a sudden, friends at the entire cast, a million dollars per actor per episode versus O.J. Simpson for free. And four and five times the number of people are tuning into that as opposed to tuning in to a friend's TV show. And the executives at the TV stations went, aha! And so out of that came a, a very smart man who put a show on the TV that's still on the TV today called Survivor. So he inspired by, hey, can we get people who don't get paid to go through an experience together that looks real, that will build some drama into it to do that? 
And um, so that's when it was born. Now, the thing about it is, reality TV, there's not a single thing about reality TV that's real. Now, this is important. Everybody knows that, but you kind of don't. 